Hello everyone, for today's video I have a full Superman themed moveset. This was suggested by Agile, so thank you very much for this moveset themed suggestion. If you guys have any moveset themed suggestions for yourself, please feel free to leave them in the comments and the best ones will be used for future videos. And of course if you do enjoy these videos and you think they deserve it, please leave a like. So getting to this moveset, we've got Rocket Tackle, Arm Crash, Meteor Strike and Eye Beam as our four supers. So quite a lot of strikes and just this combination and Innocence Breath as our two ultimates, Potential Unleashed as our transformation and Instant Rise as our evasive. So like I just said, this is pretty much a strike build so you can combo Meteor Strike into Arm Crash and this is definitely a very aggressive moveset because you've not really got any defensive attacks apart from Instant Rise but you've not got any stamina, that's completely useless. Plus Innocence Breath, it... <laughs> It's definitely not my first choice of ultimates to use just because it's very slow and has a slow end time. So if you use it, you need to make sure you're not going to finish your opponent off or you're going to be safe after you do use it. If not, you'll probably get your guard broken. So getting into the first fight, I do need to say this. What I've noticed, and some of you guys have noticed this as well in the comments, I'd say since maybe just after the first week of January until like now, as of me recording this, it's the 22nd of January, what I've noticed is that it's been taking a very long time for people to join my lobby and when people do actually join they are players who are I'd say like new to the game or just don't have that much experience online so I just want to say that I'm not deliberately trying to fight noobs it's just that waiting 10-15 minutes to get one person to join and I mean I will say this I do kick people if they have a connection of two bars or under or having to wait 10, 15, 20 sometimes even 30 minutes for someone to join I mean yes I can do things in the background like make fun and still for having to wait that long for just one person to join it is a bit frustrating and my only other alternative is to just fight whoever comes and if like they're new players I pretty much have to use the fight if not then videos get delayed and just all that stuff so hopefully going forward they can do some of the service because I have been reading comments that depending on where you live especially in Australia you either can't join you're very laggy when you fight or you just get disconnected like when you're in the middle of the fight so I do see the frustration there, I'm kind of experiencing it myself, but again, it's something going forward, I want to try and fight people who are better at the game. And that's not me trying to disrespect anyone who I featured in a video and beat, it's just that I would prefer fighting people who are similar to my skill level, just because it will make the fight more intense and a bit longer. So, I know I've rambled throughout the first fight, but that's actually getting to the battles as you go into the second fight of this video. So I did give this guy a second fight, just because like I've already mentioned, it took a long time for people to join my lobby, and when they did join, they would have a terrible connection so I couldn't fight them. So I did decide to give this guy a few fights. In the last match, he was running Super Kamehameha and Super Vanishing Ball, but I didn't get a chance to look at his skills this time, but I think he's still running them. So I go for the Harmon Dash here, I think that's actually an accident, but if he is indeed running the same build as the previous fight, then every super attack he has is key based, so I'm assuming he's going to be running Super Vegeta rather than Super Saiyan 3. And you just saw there, this is the perfect example as to why the servers are a bit broken right now. I broke his guard with the stamina break, but it took a few seconds for it to register, so that's brilliant. But I did break his guard, it recharged, and I went for the Harmon Dash when he went for the Super Vanishing Ball. So his stamina's been broken again. I do like this stage, but the only problem with it is that if you send your opponent down with a stamina break and I can't recover, it is a bit, you know, a bit annoying to dash into them because by the time they fall, they've probably either got their stamina recharged or it's about to. So having an attack like instant transmission for the stage would work wouldn't as I'd imagine. So at this point there's nothing really I can do because, well, I've just this second had my stamina recharged to the point where I can vanish and now I can use an evasive if I need to. He transforms here and it's not Super Vegeta 2, it's just the regular Super Saiyan. So I don't know why he's running that and not Super Vegeta because that's going to boost his key attacks and not his strike attacks which is what Super Saiyan does. So at the moment he's going to get me in a bit of a combo and I just can't do anything to get out of it because I'm only just about to get two bars of stamina recovered and in a moment I'll have three bars so I can use my advices if I need to. So because of that and because we both have roughly the same amount of health and stamina I decide to use Potential Unleashed to try and give myself a bit of an advantage here. So here I just get him in a bit of a combo and I don't want to continue this combo by using stamina because I have pretty low stamina so I do want to keep an eye on that. I have max key now, so I was thinking I can finish him off with one just this combination. 
I go for it, but he vanishes out the way, so that was a very smart move on his end. And now, as I fall from this combo, I had a feeling he'll go for a super, and he does, so I charge up the arm crash, which cancels him out. I go for the standard break here, which completely misses. So from there, and pretty much just to try and surprise him, I go for the innocence breath, and that's going to be enough to finish him off. Fun second fight, but let's see what happens as you go into the third fight for this video. So this time my opponent has Giant Storm and Crusher Volcano, so I do need to be extremely careful here because if I have my guard broken, there's just not going to be any way I can protect myself against either of those attacks. Unless of course I'm right next to him when he uses them, in which case I could probably break his guard. But I mean, I don't have After Image, Phantom Fist, or even Instant Transmission, or even something like God Breaker or Change the Future to protect myself with. So again, I do need to be very careful. I also did change my outfit to resemble Superman as well. I based it around the Man of Steel outfit. I think it looks okay, and like I think you can tell what it's supposed to be, but I do think the colors look a bit too bright, and because of that, it just looks a bit disgusting in my opinion, I don't know. But he vanishes here, just as I go for the eye beam, so he completely avoids that. And I do catch him in a combo here, and because I've got no stamina, I just decide to go for the normal light combo and finish it off with the energy volley. So at this point, I do need to be careful because I've barely got one bar of stamina in a moment. Yeah, there we go. I've got one bar of stamina, he's got four, but now he's got three. Now he's got one. <laughs> I was going to say that I do need to be very careful here because he's got max key and more stamina than I do, so he could catch me in one of his ultimates. But here, as you can see, I went for the vanish and I caught him in the justice combination. And now I was thinking, should I go for stamina reset? And it's a good job I didn't because he goes for the giant storm and I had one bar of stamina to go for the harmony dash to break his guard. I probably shouldn't have done that in retrospect. I mean, yes, it did help me, but... There was a chance there that it could have glitched out and it still could have hit me because there's a bit of a glitch with Giant Storm where if you use it and you don't cancel it out until it's too late then it'll still fire. It's a bit weird, it's hard to explain. But from there I did go for a standard reset, then I went for the Innocence Breath to try and trick him again. It worked and that's enough to finish him off. Let's move on to the next fight. So as I said at the start of the video, I did have trouble finding people to fight for this video, so I did give this guy two fights. He picks Future Trunks and I was tempted to not even bother looking at his skills because I was certain it was going to be the Burning Strike version, and of course it is, because I did look. So I did have a bit of trouble perfect blocking him when he went for the back here. I'm not sure why, but given that my guard was just broken as I was blocking and he wasn't draining my stamina, the servers aren't the best, let's be fair. I'm not making excuses because I don't really care if I'm being completely honest, but it's something that I think is worth, you know, mentioning. He goes for Super Saiyan 2 here. I was thinking maybe I could go for the homie dash to break his guard, but no, I just didn't have enough time because my stamina was still recovering. I do get the perfect block off there, and because I've got almost max key, I decided to go for potential unleash because Given the fact that the servers aren't the best and that he's kind of kicking my ass at the moment, I do need to, you know, use as many advantages as, as I can. So I go for the I-beam, hit him a few times after that, and I go for the Justice combination, and that's going to pull us roughly on the same level in terms of how much health we have. If I'm being completely honest, my biggest concern at the moment is if he's going to use Burning Strike, because I'm not sure if you can perfect block that, and if you can, I just don't know how, because I just haven't practiced with it. So if he does indeed use it, I'm just going to block it normally. I'm not going to try and get a perfect block off, or to know just guard. So after this clash, I go for the instance breath. I lock off Rob because I don't think it notifies him, like the hood doesn't flash. It did hit him, but it didn't fully connect, but I mean, it still hit him, so that did take a bit of damage. He vanished there and now he has pretty much no stamina and I have almost max. So now I'm thinking, well, I can do pretty much whatever I want. I do want to try and break his guard by making him vanish and then maybe getting a perfect block off because I'll just, you know, it'll just destroy his stamina bar and he'll have to wait for it to be recovered. But I'll just go for a basic combo here and do a few supers in the middle. In a moment he's going to vanish, then I'll vanish as well and he'll go for the back hit, but I will perfect block it so that'll be enough to break his guard. And from this point, the match is pretty much over because he's just not going to be able to have enough time to recover all of his stamina. And even if he does recover all of it, and I think he does, the amount of damage I do on him compared to how much health I have left, he's just not going to be able to recover in this fight. Like, he's just not going to be able to. So I do finish him off in the moment by using the arm crash because I just don't think he'll be expecting it. I did get a bit lucky there in the sense that when he was attacking me, he was just tanking my stamina and he wasn't staggering me or, you know, draining my health, so... Nice end to that fight, let's see what happens as you go into the final fight for this video and our second fight against this guy. So I do pick the pod landing map and he picks the same variation of trunks again. So once again, I do need to be a bit careful with burning strike because much like giant Namekians, I just don't really know how to deal with it yet. It's something I'm still learning because like, 
Not that many people use them, so again, I'm just trying to learn how to deal with it. But I do think that he's starting to panic already. I mean, you just saw right there, he went for Vanish when he really didn't need to. And, well, he went for another Vanish there, and I was kind of expecting it. But because the servers, well, the connection rather, is a bit wonky, I didn't go off the back it because I just don't think it would have hit him. And I'd rather set up the anticipation fist so I could probably get a perfect block off if he did hit me. He catches me here and I do vanish and I do get a perfect block off and that was very lucky because it was more instinct than anything. I go for the standard break there, he blocks it so fair enough. Now I go for the justice combination and he's not going to be able to recover from that. Well I mean he's not going to be able to evade it and he vanishes as it ends so at this point I mean, unless he's going to go for a stamina reset, which I don't think he will because I'll be able to use another Justice Combination or Innocence Breath on him. Like, again, he really is starting to panic here. He's starting to lose his cool, I would say. Now, granted, we do have roughly the same amount of stamina. He has more key. Well, just about more key than I do. But I have so much more health than he does that even if my guard is broken and he hits me with two potential burning strikes, even the Super Saiyan 2, I'll probably get my stamina recovered and still have either just a tiny bit more health than he does or roughly the same, so I'm not too concerned here. I think I do go for a stamina reset in a moment, I'm not too sure, but I do hit him with a second justice combination and he did vanish out of it and I do think that was the right thing to do because if I did hit him with the entire justice combination, that probably would have finished him off. But from that point, I hit him a few times and go for the triangle stamina break, which will be enough to finish that guy off. So with that being said, Thank you ever so much for watching this video, I really do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.